Okay guys, welcome back to another episode. On this one, we're gonna be working on the R32, so stick around for some cool progress to come. Tell me, is it wake up in the air? Rappers scattered off the gear. I can map him, get yeah, the ears. Like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him, let him run the drill. Bro, running through the shit like a motherfucking day. All right, so if you didn't see in the other episode um, with the S13, Xavier came over and he gave the bay another quick spray with the two pack black, gloss black that he had um, already sitting at his house. And so, yeah, the paint that they sold me is the wrong paint because it had all those bumps in it. It looked like shit, um, which sucks because you can't just take the paint back. Their policy is like, you pick the color and it's your fault. So that's like 150 bucks or whatever down the drain. Um, but anyway, I'll use it. I'll use it on other stuff. Like the interior is fine. Um, but one of those things, anyway, it's looking bloody nice now. Don't worry about what Xavier says. It's actually looking freaking good, uh, especially for a track car. So what we're gonna be doing today is I've got the GK Tech braided lines for all the brakes. Um, so they're all in here and we're gonna be installing all these today. So there's a kit um, that does, it's like a engine bay delete kit. So we've got that, um, which is this one, I'm pretty sure. And then there's also ones for straight off the caliper and then there's the hydro kit here as well so we're going to be doing all these and i'm just gonna um for the next stage of the r32 i'm going to be doing all the lines from front to back so there's going to be the brake lines which i just showed you the clutch line um and the fuel line and the battery relocation will be like a, a hard or like a thick battery wire that goes from like a terminal post here somewhere or somewhere nice um underneath the car and to the back where the battery will be in the boot and then i also bought um started buying some fuel stuff second hand on marketplace so i've got a surge tank here and some fittings but i will need to buy the hose and all the rest of the stuff and then work out in the boot here I've got this tire sitting on here to hold the lid down because it likes to come up um so in the boot going to work out uh, where i'm going to put a fuel cell uh, maybe cut this out to make it fit nicer and the surge tank and yeah where I'm going to run the lines and everything so figure out all that as well and um, that's about it there. I've also oh there's so many things to do I, I do make it sound easy but there is a lot um, so I've got to make like a, a brace uh, like not a bracing but a, a, um, a fire wall that will go in there to cover um, the fuel cell to make it separate from the, the actual cabin because um, a lot of regulations at QR, for Matsuri especially, um, you have to have that blanked off so that if there's a fire, it can't get through to here. Um, even though most of the time people use stuff that would melt pretty fast anyway, but it is a rule. Uh, the cage is looking mint. Oh, also bought this rail on uh, Marketplace. It's a bride genuine rail, so it sits nice and low. I'm gonna whack a seat on there um, and then just suss out where the hydro is gonna go because that's bloody exciting. And that's part of the lines we're doing today. So let's get started on running some lines, get the booster in there um, and just suss out hooking up to the front brakes. I think that's probably the easiest way. I'm not gonna secure any lines just yet because I don't wanna um, like put holes in it where we put the nice new paint. I'll wait till everything is in there and then I'll make it all nice and neat, like spaced out and everything. Um, so the holes will be the last bit. Um, try and do as bare minimal holes as possible to try and like keep it nice and neat and like tucked away. Trying to do like a, a tuck so the engine just pops and then everything else around it just disappears and you can't really see it. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be cool. I got a pretty hectic vision of it. Um, now it's just a matter of bringing it to life. So let's lift it up and start screwing in these brake lines. All right, so first up, while I've got it on the bench, I'm just gonna attach the new uh, brake booster master cylinder. And this is looking really shit because I painted it with the other paint, but I don't think it's really gonna matter because you will not really see it. I'm also, because I'm going with that stealth look, I'm putting it upside down. So normally this um, pipe here is on the top and you have a, a line going from here across to your um, plenum. But, um, just for vacuum pressure, but I'm going to run it upside down because that's something people do with show cars. Um, so the line actually goes underneath and it, you won't really see it. 
So just those little things that I'm going to be doing along the way to try and make it look as nice as possible. And this is a brand new master cylinder from GK Tech and the supplier is HFM. I haven't heard too much about them. I'm just going to try it out. Like when I was doing my GK Tech order, it was easy enough just to add this in there for like, I don't know how much it was, but it wasn't too expensive. So I've never had a brand new one, always use secondhand ones. And I thought I'd just grab one. So let's give it that a go. It's going to bolt it on there and then see how it fits in the car. It's quite big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that looking so nice and fancy <laughs> let's take it over here and put it straight in there <coughs> all right first piece of the puzzle is bolted in and it's looking beautiful and oh man Whew. I'm excited I just spent a little bit of time like obviously that looked fast and easy but the threads didn't line up very good and I had to get up under there my favorite spot and put the pin in and um man i hate getting under there it would be almost worth like cutting a hole in the floor like a manhole and just it flaps and you lift up on the hoist and you can just poke your head in there that would actually be sick um but now i'm gonna lift it up and start sussing out these front brake lines okay so now comes the job of figuring out which line goes where these ones have like a banjo fitting on the end which is this circle uh fitting here and they screw onto the master they screw onto the master cylinder right there so what i'm going to do undo this packet there's three different ones in there i'm guessing one's for the, the front right brake one's for the front left brake then one goes down and it would normally join into the steel line that will go from the front to the back i'm going to try and get away with not using steel lines um, and have just all braided it'll just be way nicer holy shit this camera's lost the plot um, try and get away with not having any steel lines and just try and use braided the whole way um, Yeah, let's bolt that on there and it will give us a rough idea of where they need to go Okay straight off the bat um, These seem to be too long. They bottom out before they get um, home so that's not a good start and they look kind of short but i guess they're made to fit they look really nice like the gk tech heat shrink has their logo on there that's going to look sick and it's a nice like banjo fittings are way nicer than the bloody stock fittings those little oh, pain in the ass screws um so yeah i'm gonna just do some google research you know and figure out which one needs to go on which outlet I don't know if it would matter too much. I think these are the, for the brakes left and that's how I've got it set up. So I'll just check that. And then um, I'm gonna work out like the neatest way to run this one to get over to here without it getting in the way or being seen. So that's gonna be fun. Normally it would run, a hard line would run across here and then it sort of tucks along under here and then goes down, which does work quite well. So I may try and follow the same path because you can hide things under this little lip here. Uh, yeah, slow progress. Good news, I just realized um, the other braided line here I have is for the front. So this right angle goes onto the brake caliper and then up here. And then that line that we're just playing with comes in and joins into this line. So it gives you way more space. And then that is meant to like go onto the stock mounting point that's in there. So yeah, that's gonna be heaps nicer. Wow, so I just noticed it's actually got F written on there for the front to those two, which I actually thought, and then R for rear. Duh, that was easy to figure out. <laughs> so I actually had it right. That's nice. All right, so I just spent a bit of time like making these little rubber, um, little rubber, what would you call it? Little rubber protector around this hole. You can't really see it that well, but because I painted it black. But I've got a bit of this rubber here um, that is good as for like intercooler piping and stuff. It's got metal inside of it that gives it like strength. 
but it also like is really bendy. So I cut off a piece of that and then I stretched it into this hole or, sh or shrunk it into the hole, either one, then painted it black. So then the, the, um, the line that sits in there is going to be protected because I lost the stock um, rubber one, but also I don't know if there was a stock one because they're metal, so it wouldn't really be a problem when they're metal, but now they're going to be this nice braided line that could eventually rub through there. So anyway, I've done that, painted it black, ready to go. So now it's just a matter of joining up this line that screws into the brake caliper, and then it comes around on your fittings, uh, on your little, little brackets here, with the little, um, uh, Nissan uses heaps of these, um, I don't know if they're like a standard thing for most cars, but it works really simple. It's like this little, um, little spring-loaded um, clampy thingy, and that pushes in there and holds the line in place, which is mint, and it's gonna look sick because on this one, it's got one there, one there, and one there. So it's gonna like hold it all nice and nice and legit. So let's get onto that. Cool, so that braided line's in now, and yeah, it looks bloody beautiful. Goes from there through this, like, the GK Tech um, crimps and everything that are on here are really nice to work with. Black anodized as well, which make it really nice. You can't really see. But it comes from there around into this holder, that one, and then around. There's meant to be another one on here, but I'm not going to run it. It's just one extra thing I don't need um, that normally would bolt on under here somewhere and hold there but like with the right angle it's holding it where it needs to be anyway and then that must be a tapered thread because it doesn't go in all the way fingers crossed on that one but yeah should be um so yeah that's it lock to lock works mint just down the other side as well and there's plenty of line there to come across this one looks a lot nicer i don't know why i think it's because that's spun around on the other side one extra spin but anyway um there's heaps of extra line here, so I can tuck it like right up underneath, like along there, and then bring it around. It's gonna look really nice. Um, now to just tighten off the top part, but I may just wait until I actually run it 100% before I tighten it, because that's like the deciding factor on where it can move now. Um, but I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I'll probably end up getting um, a braided line to go from here to join up to the back. So let's go do the back now and just see what the story is with that. Cool, so basically um, that was like super simple. So I've got up under here, I've got um, brake lines, braided lines that go to each um, brake caliper. So one of them is you just your foot brake and the other one's your hydro. I chose the top one to be the hydro, I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Um, but basically, so I've got two braided lines coming off there. One of them stops at the stock position right there um, and I've got to figure out how to get from there to the front of the car and then the other one comes around and the GK Tech kit comes with like a um, T-piece there it's like pretty sweet it's got the freaking all the logos I love I love how brands put their logos on and make things look nice so that if anyone sees it they can just be like oh yeah I know that brand um, and then there's a line that goes all the way through and now we're gonna lower it down and have a look up there and see where we're gonna put the handle hydro handle shit yes um so same on both sides and then yeah so i've just got to figure out um because the stock ones 
off your foot brake stop here and there's a hard line that normally comes around and then there's a similar thing, there's a T um, and then there's a hard line that goes back which will join on to that other brake line um, that's here, it'll join on there. So I want to um, see how much it is to get a braided line join on here um, and then shoot it all the way down, put a T in and then join it up to those other two braided lines if it's not that much, I think I'll do it. If it's like, like three, four hundred bucks or something stupid, I'll just use the um, the hard lines that I've got out here still, because they're I've still got them, but they're just shit. This is what the stock ones look like, and um, I don't need all that. Two of them are fuel. One's like charcoal as well. So, I don't know. and plus they they sort of rangied up the um brake lines on it because they used the um oh I can use that fitting I can definitely use that that's the joiner um up on the end of my brake line yep I'll use that and see that line there that's the line see I might even just use this I don't know depends on the price that's right so they rang it up the end um and joined on their hydro and the hydro that they had in this car was so shit. It was like an inline hydro with your brake, your foot pedal, and it was just shocking, eh? So shit. But I'll definitely use that fitting. I may use this hard line and then use two braided lines from here back to those braided lines and then just have the one. I don't know. I'll suss it out. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next stage, which is sitting in the cockpit of the beast and suss out where my hydro handbrake is going to go because that's exciting as fuck. All right, moving on to the handbrake handle. We've got the Wilwood master cylinder here, which is a beauty. And um, this all came in the kit from the GK Tech. They sell a hydraulic handbrake kit uh, with the braided lines and everything. And when you buy it as a kit, it's a lot cheaper. This is the u butte looking bracket they've got. That is pretty bloody cool um, it comes with all the fixings and then you ready for this this is the handle it's like a fluoro pinky red way more pink than red um, GK Tech hydro handbrake that is gonna look absolutely amazing it doesn't make that noise it actually goes You know, shit man, almost, I got pretty sideways just then from that. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be epic as in there with the black. Pretty much any color in there is gonna stand out because of the black, it's gonna be sick. So I'm gonna um, try and build this on the bench here and then see how it fits in the car. So that took ages, longer than I thought it would, um, but you know, it's done now. And it goes this way, and you pull it back towards you. I need two hands to show you. Um, but yeah, in the instruction video that GK Tech has, they kind of skip past this part, so <laughs> that's when you know you're in for a shit ride. All these bolts are so hard to get to because um, of the bracing on there, but it's going to work, so super pumped. So yeah, that's pretty much a wrap on this one, guys. Um, Gonna suss out the hydro once I get the seat sorted, um, and then that's pretty much the brake lines done. Just gotta fix them off and finalize them, but that won't be happening until later. So, on to the next stage, which is probably gonna be the seats, hopefully. It depends what parts I can buy because I'm getting everything secondhand on Marketplace, um, so that's pretty much um, at the moment. But hopefully, I can sell that ute and start buying some engine parts. That'll be sick. Um, 
Yes, there's still plenty of stuff I can do. Plenty of stuff. Um, lots of stuff that's cheap, but even more stuff that's more expensive. So um, I'm just gonna do what I can. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure if you like this episode with the R32 drift car, that's gonna be sick. Um, make sure if you liked it, drop a comment below and then hit subscribe. And also hit the bell notification and share with your friends. Come <laughs>